What is going on guys? It's Tremaine. Before this video starts, I have something super important. As you guys see right here, we have hit a hundred subscribers. I started really uploading videos just months ago, like maybe like five months ago maybe five i started really uploading more and like to where there was a frequency of me uploading rather than there being like months and months in between an upload when i was like very first starting and in that a little bit amount of time we've managed to get 103 subscribers that's where we're at right now we've managed to get 103 subscribers i want to say thank you guys everyone who supports who watches all of you guys are great thank y'all so much this stuff stuff like this is what really makes me keep doing these videos what makes me want to do more it really really drives me so i thank you guys a ton I cannot thank you guys enough y'all are the ogs of the channel so all 103 of you guys at the time of this recording that are subscribed, y'all have the title of the OGs of the channel. Nobody can tell y'all nothing about me. Like, y'all know everything about this channel. If anybody tries to tell y'all something, you, you can't, they can't tell you, they can't tell you a thing. Again, just thank you guys so much. Keep supporting. I'll keep making videos. And you guys are awesome. Thanks. And let's get to the video. What's up guys, it's Tremaine, we're back with another video and today we got an upgrade for the Focus actually. So, let me show you. I already opened the box, I had to look at it to make sure, you know, stuff is right, I had to look at it, you know, but. So, what we got here, we have, we have a new throttle body for the Focus right here. There's a new throttle body. This is the one that is in the 2.3 liter um, engines. Um, mine is the 2.0, you know, cause I don't, I have the NA version. This is a popular swap for the NA and the ST. Um, a lot of people do this cause you just get the bigger throttle body and it goes in the exact same place. It bolts right on. The only thing that changes is this sensor right here is on the bottom of the throttle body instead of it being like up here, like how it is on mine. But the sensor that's plugged into it literally still reaches. So it's simple. You just take the old one out, put your new one on. And like I said, this is a super popular swap. So we're going to go ahead, get it started because this, sh this shouldn't take too long. But we all know how stuff like that goes. So let's see how it goes. I'm gonna show you guys what's in the car right now. And then whenever I put this in, I'm gonna do a comparison so you guys can see the size difference because this is a bit bigger than that one. I believe the one that's in my car in the NA Focus is it's 57 millimeters, I believe. And this goes up to 62 millimeter. So it, it's a little bit bigger and it's just, you know, I'm not expecting huge, huge performance gains, but I am expecting some more throttle response and maybe just a little bit of low end kind of just movement. Like I'm not really expecting too much power out of it, but the throttle response will really like help wake the car up make it feel a little more responsive because it is kind of sluggish right now whenever you hit the gas it is a little bit sluggish before it actually starts doing anything so hopefully this will kind of make that issue a little bit better so once we get it in we're going to take it for a drive and we're going to see so let's find out so like i said throttle body is right here on the na focuses it's super super easy because the, the throttle body is literally just right here and on the STs, it's like underneath the engine and stuff. It's like super complicated. But in our case, it's right here. All we got to do is take off the intake. We just got to take the hose, right? Not the hose, but the little, whatever you want to call this. I guess it is a hose. We take this off of the throttle body right now and just kind of take the intake off. Unbolt your throttle body from the engine. Bolt your new one on. 
and then you put your intake back on and you're done it's that simple so hopefully it's as easy as I made it sound and we can do it and get it done real fast and this is a short video so let's get to it alright so what I'm gonna do first everyone doesn't have the same intake as me obviously so I mean it's the same process but just take off your intake down here I'm only I'm only gonna undo this down here so I can actually no, I'll probably undo both of these so that way I can get this whole thing out and out the way and hopefully that's all the room I need hopefully I ain't got to take this whole thing out but if I do it's not that big of a deal but I'm gonna try and just take off this right here and we're gonna get this off and then I'm gonna get these bolts off of the throttle body so I can get it out and then that'll be it for this first part right here so let me go ahead and get started on that and I'm gonna come back to you guys all right, like guys, I did have to take off this hose that was right here on my intake just so I would have some more room right here because I originally just unconnected it and it was it didn't really give me that much room. So you're probably gonna y'all are probably also gonna have to take off you know from here to like here of the intake or if you want to just take out the whole intake and just give yourself the most space possible, go ahead and do that. It's really up to you. So now all we're gonna do is just unbolt these four bolts right here and then we that plug right there obviously you're gonna unplug that and then pull your throttle body out and then I'm gonna show you guys a comparison once I get it out also another tip don't do this right after you just drove your car because my intake my throttle body the whole engine bay is stupid hot right now so let your car cool off a little bit don't be like me don't be stupid let it cool down a little bit and then do it just save yourself the trouble trust me just do it all right, so we got the old one off right here in this hand. So you see that one, and this is the new one. Not sure, you know, you might can be able to tell the difference, but as you can see, that's kind of, if y'all can tell, it's a pretty big size difference between both of these. So, like I say, hopefully this does what we want it to, and we just get that extra throttle response and just get rid of some of that sluggish feeling that's in the car right now. Hopefully this takes care of some of that, and um, I'm going to I'm going to actually show you guys really quick. You need to make sure you get longer bolts to hold in the new throttle body because it is bigger. As you can tell, it's a lot thicker than this one, so you want to get new bolts. I do have them. I'll show you guys them and compare them as well. You want to make sure you have some that'll actually hold this into your to the actual engine because the old one they're too short and this will not stay so let me show you guys the comparison of the bolts i'll be right back so like i say this is the small one this is the original and you can see the size difference right there so you do want to make sure you get the correct bolts i will put the part numbers for every thing i got because i got a throttle body the new bolts and let me show you guys if this is not necessary, but that little gasket right there, I got a new one. I'm just going to replace it. It's like I said, it's not absolutely necessary, but it is something you should, if you have it off and you can replace it, you might as well replace it because it's nothing wrong with having a new gasket. It's the gasket is literally like $3. You can just go ahead and buy it, replace that gasket and you're good. So right now, let's just get this old gasket out this is a bit sketch with one hand not gonna lie to y'all so let me take this off so that doesn't like fall into the engine and I'll be right back all right I got this old got this old one out there's really nothing wrong with it like I said you don't have to replace it but it's just good practice to replace out your gaskets as you see this gasket has grooves there's uh, if you can see in there, there's grooves along the circle where this goes. You just line them up, set it in there, that simple. So we're going to set this in here, then we're going to put the new throttle body right here on, and then we'll bolt it up, plug it in, and we're going to see how it goes. Alright, so I got the new throttle body kind of just hand started so it doesn't fall out, so I can show you guys what I was talking about, because the sensor on the old... OEM throttle body is up here and the plug is literally just sitting like this right here but since the 
plug is now down here, right here where my hand is. I just took the cord, bring it over, and you simply just bring it here, and you're just gonna plug it in. And then, once you get it over here, you just take it, slide it onto the throttle body like so, and then you put your clip on. And just like that, you have your plug, and it's just it's just rerouted. So that's the only difference here. So there's not gonna be any issues with that. All right, so we got this bolted in now. It's nice and secure. This is probably gonna just be the hardest part, which is getting this onto the bigger fitting that this was on before. But that's, I mean, we could probably just get some soapy water or some Vaseline or whatever you have at your house. Just probably, you know, put some inside of here. Maybe put a little bit right here. You don't want to put too much because you don't want anything to go inside of here, of course. So just maybe put a little bit of whatever you're trying to do. If it's water, don't spray any on here. But if you got some Vaseline or something, you could probably put a little bit right here on this lip right here. Just so it kind of slips over. And then, you know, put some a little bit inside of here. Whatever you're doing. And then that way it'll kind of go over it. Because, like say, this is a bigger hole. So this isn't going to be on as easy. So whatever you got to slip this on use that we're gonna just put this intake on right here reconnect it and we're gonna i did have to unplug this one sensor right here i'll just plug it back in and then we're done and then we're gonna take it for a test drive so let me do that and then i'll see you guys after all right so we have the intake all put back together got it all clamped back down I plug my sensor back in always double check make sure your sensors are plugged in double check the sensor that is down here now you want to make sure that's plugged in uh, we're gonna go ahead and give it a startup make sure everything works and then once we confirm that we'll take it out for a drive and see how it runs No lights, that's a seatbelt light. Let's make sure the throttle works. It does, it does indeed. So, we got it all hooked up. So, I think it's time to go take a drive. So, let's go. Alright, guys, I have new technology here. Hopefully, this works out nice. Uh, let's go ahead, let's go for, for a few little rips and see how this goes just pulling god that felt a little bit better already we'll see once we get like actually on a road we'll see how it is definitely gives it a little bit more responsiveness I will say that that felt a lot more smooth as well normally whenever you just give it a little gas it kind of it feels like it it's stuttering or something I'm not sure it feels like it's just slow to get to it but that actually that was almost instant so that was good that's good to know well Obviously it didn't 
it and make the car any faster, but it's just that responsiveness really, really is nice. Yeah, it does sound a little bit different. It, but it's, it's, it's on the better, inside. It's mellow. I'm not sure what it sounds like on the outside. I don't really think it changed much on the outside, but when you're inside the car, it definitely does sound a little bit different. It doesn't sound as sounded like rough. yeah, like before it was a bit it sounded a bit mean, aggressive, kind of. It's a lot more controlled. It sounds like it seems like it's not so just everywhere. Sounds like. All right, guys. So as y'all see, well, now as y'all see, I guess. But like I said, it, I did notice a huge difference in responsiveness. Um, the car, it sounds a little bit different, but not in a bad way. It sounds better, in my opinion. It's a lot more like before. It was kind of the sounds it was making was, it was nice. I still liked it, but this sounds a lot more like under control, if that makes sense. Um, for as for is it worth it I personally think so if you want that small just little performance upgrade you want that responsiveness you want that just feeling of being a little bit more connected to the car this does it I think for under $300 this is a good mod because in total I think this cost me like 265 with the throttle body the gaskets and the um, bolts all of those was about like 265 so I think for that price that was good and for what it does to the car I think it's worth it so if you're looking to do this go ahead and do it I think I think it's worth it so with that if you guys do like these videos make sure to let me know leave a comment leave a like and if you like the content subscribe it helps me out a ton and I really really do appreciate it also, let me know what you guys thought of that POV kind of view I gave you guys. I got a new camera, got a little GoPro kind of camera, and I can do a lot more stuff with like that. I can do POVs, I can put it outside the car, whatever. You know, so if you guys like stuff like that, tell me, let me know. And with that, I will end it here. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.